It is Deadwing and spawned on the top left position as the green Zerg playing for RB Pro, it is Hanfi. His opponent spawned as the pink Protoss playing for Team AAA, it is Chubbs. Chubbs will have to um, change his game plan a little bit now that he's facing off against the Zerg, but I guess with the style that um, he put out against Coffee, um, with a solid late game macro, he was just amazing. Um, also had some really good army control. Hanfi going for the extracted trick, I've not seen that in quite some time. Some players do prefer it. Um, especially uh, Korean Zergs used to favor the extractor trick and sometimes even the double extractor trick just to have a couple more drones available for, for cheesy play. Hey, Kids Forever, I've not seen you in forever. How you doing? Yeah, TLO has to advance to <laughs> take revenge for Gung Fu. Oh yeah, the Muslim? Yeah, uh, man, so many cool players to see. Maybe we have to switch brackets, but uh, it's always it always results in so much downtime. So not too keen on actually switching to parts to, to parts of the bracket. But we still have um, Friday's qualifier, so we could check out uh, Gung Fu Banda and uh, and the Muslim and TLO on Friday. I'm pretty sure they should be qualified for the Friday one already, since they. Accumulated so many points, wouldn't be wouldn't be surprised to be honest. Anfi going for hatch first, which is quite fine on that wing. If ooh going for a triple hatch before pool, um, that's uh, that's a little bit different, a di little bit different style. But um, let's see. I mean, some Protoss players don't really like to punish it. But right now, Shops, uh, he does have the first gateway established already, so he could definitely punish this. And we'll have to see if Hanfi actually has an answer. Just now producing his spawning pool. And the first zealot, of course, is in production. Let's see if, he, if he's gonna go for a second zealot j just after that. Warpgate research is also on the way, and he's going for an expand. Let's see, let's see. We'll have to see if Zealot production will continue. Nope, he actually cancelled the Zealot, so he's not gonna capitalize on on this little um, crazy, crazy macro style that Hanfi is putting out. Red blood's on fire. My hair looks amazing. Well, thank you. I'm actually going to the barber tomorrow. Because it's, it's way too long right now. Kind of a mess to deal with. And... Oh yeah, I've not seen Hanfi in, in some time, but he's still playing with lots of queens. I like this. Really hope that he's actually producing more queens than bases. Especially if you go for this 3-hatch uh, before pool. You want to have some good creep spread to connect your bases. Otherwise, you might run into issues. Even though, I think on Deadwing, since... This would have to be cleared off if before you can actually bypass the, um, the third base. Uh, you don't really rely as much on the on 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 creep spread, but still, love to see some good creep spread. And also, queens do help out quite a bit, um, just to have some flexible defense. And he saw this uh, little uh, zealot and mothership core making its way over. Uh, did send some zealots over here, which can be a little bit of a nuisance. But I mostly do for her, for scouting reasons. But of course, Hanfi is reacting to this aggression. Go for a spine crawler, take it in the back, which is good. Otherwise, um, he might run into issues if Chops goes uh, straight on top of this ramp. And with so many links, I think he should be fine. Oh, even scouting out this probe. I don't think this probe actually realized that the overload was passing over. I think he just found out the second the circling got on top of him. By the way, no gas gas yet for Hanfi, but he actually moved off um, most of his queens. There might be a single queen still available in the main. Nope, not even there. Moved off the entire queen army, and with a spine and four queens, he should be fine to stop this. Upstead in three more gateways, so um, 
Four gate aggression coming in. And the links don't have speed yet, but oh, that's a lot of zealots already. Just a single sentry though. More links are coming out of out of him. Uh, Hanfi, of course, adding a second spine after seeing uh, so many zealots already in the mix. Twelve zealots. Um, and is he really going for counter aggression? I like that uh, creep will be spread here. Maybe Hanfi can actually send off one more queen, but no, he's producing more queens in his natural and main. That's also a solid option. I'm kind of curious what Shub's plan is after this. He's sticking to 30 workers for now. So this does look a little bit like an all-in, but we'll have to see. Maybe he goes for pro-production afterwards, but nope, just sells for now. Actually a little bit supply blocked right now, which is not going to help him all that much. And that, look at that zealot army, but so many links closing in from all sides, spines are being transfused, they're being kept alive for now, and the links are actually surrounding all of these zealots. I think Hanfi can deal with this, but oh, the left flank has been cleared and more zealots are streaming in, single spine also went down, more spines are being placed down, uh, the queens are still alive, do they have another transfuse ready? I don't think so. It's a spine going down, more links are streaming out. I think he can clear this, but a couple more zealots are making their way over here. But that's it. That is it. And Hanfi cleared it off. However, Chops, he's trying to go back into the macro game. He knows, okay, that's a lot of links being produced by Hanfi. So he's also not that much ahead, but still, GG. That's 1-0 for Hanfi, or German Zerg, playing for RB Pro. A little bit surprised. I mean, he could have still gone for a transition after this. Uh, they were even on workers. Um, of course, you are a little bit behind and, of course, vulnerable to just stay on two base for forever. <laughs> Zerg is live. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, the Muslims leading 1-0 versus Elki. Cool thing. And RB Pro is called Red Bloods. Red Bloods eSport, not a Red Bull or anything, Red Bloods. Alright, they're already on the next map. And it is going to be Nimbus. Uh, let me just fix the stream title. On the the end is capitalized versus chops. All right, and looks like Hanfi is ready. Is chops also ready? Yep, he is. Let's go into the second map. Was a little bit of a faster match here, but I think um. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. Shops had such a good late game uh, versus Terran, but maybe he doesn't quite have what it takes versus Zerg. Would be a little bit surprising right now. I think Protoss are doing okay versus Zerg, so... Eh. Protoss easy. Well, Fatal Bunny. Anfi proved you wrong. Let's see if he can close it out. Here he is, playing for Red Blood's eSport. Spawn as the green Zerg in the top left corner on Nimbus, it is Hanfi. And his opponent, playing for the French team AAA, our pink Protoss, Chops. Let's see, maybe Chops is just gonna go for a regular expand this time. But they are in uh, close ground positions, so. It's definitely, definitely another possibility for him to go for extra aggro, just like last game. I wouldn't count on him though. Still think um, he could just go for his regular style. Oh, interesting. Early pool coming out of Hanfi. And looks like an 8 pool coming out of him. Is he gonna go? Uh, probably double extractor trick, but the second one has actually been building for quite. No, okay. It's alright, double extractor trick. Also go for for gas early on, but nah, just that's a little bit too weird. So Hanfi really wants to win this quite fast and goes for early drone scout to 
all this off. I think this drone scout, if, if you do go for it, um, s since usually an 8 pool would still be fine to transition out of, if you do a little bit of macro damage, um, once you do send the, pro uh, the drone, uh, it's pretty much all in. Go go Hanfi Gosu! Mick Delta, definitely a Hanfi fan. Do we have any shops fans in here? A okay, drone will scout out everything that's going on, but mostly um, this is this is mostly for finding out about the starting position. And Shops is not gonna like to see this. Oh, the circling is going for the chase. Nope, just a single circling. Oh, that even that one is gonna turn around here. So um, yeah, Shops quite lucky to um, have this little nice uh, wall off with his uh, with his Sim City. Still, the left side is open and vulnerable. Mothership core is halfway done. And Hanfi is transitioning out of this. Uh, going for two more drones. And going for hatch. But, yeah, I don't know. There was a chance that he could have done something here, but I doubt that it's gonna happen now. Not with the Zell, not with the Mothership core over here available as well. And more Zells are being produced for traps. So Hanfi... He went for the gamble and he lost out, but he can still he can still come back in this game. That's for sure. Did lose a little bit of mining time. He did send that single probe back, so um, didn't lose it or anything. Uh, still available. Ooh, so I can just get in here one more time. That shouldn't have happened for shops. He had two zealots available, and nope, there's no overcharge available just yet. So he will get a couple of kills at least. Uh, that's a really good mineral walk coming out of shots though. So not gonna be too many probes going down here. A couple of workers were lost though, three workers already. But a lot of zerglings as well. So I think uh, shops dealt with this quite well. And ooh, adding in more gateways. Two more gates, will there be a third one? He's gonna add one, one more in. Um, this could be quite a deadly bow to Hanfi. Right now he's still trying to uh, recuperate his losses and get back into a macro game. But if Shop just go for, goes for counter aggression, his yeah, his uh, warp gate tech is almost done. Uh, he doesn't have a probe out just yet. At least no proxy pylon being established. And Hanfi has some pretty good map vision. But does he have vision over here? Nope, not yet. So proxy pounds are going up. Uh, no third gate being added or fourth gate being added just yet. But these are finishing up, so that's some good aggression coming out of shops. Hanfi is reacting now though. Getting more and more links, establishing that spine, and going for speed. Still has a single pro a uh, single drone in there. Just to get a little bit more gas and um, possibly go for a layer tag once he has a couple of gas, gas available. Spine will need, be, will need to be put down. And the Mothership Core is standing right on top of the creep, but ooh, some good, good micro here um, coming out of Hanfi, going straight for straight for the surround. Nice time warp. Doing some more damage on these on these uh, links. Stalkers will move over and try to see what they can do. Left side is a little bit open, but he doesn't want really want to engage on the creep. Especially with 26 Zerglings coming out of Hanfi. Wow. That is pretty massive. Maybe he should add another uh, another spine here. But ooh, look at that! Anfi already going for the preemptive preemptive split. That's the fourth gate coming out for shops. That's a pretty strong aggression once once again. But this time mostly stalkers. Oh, little bit of a ballsy move for Hanfi. And nice position positioning for shops. Yep, that is a perfect positioning for Shops, staying right on top of this, of this little narrow choke point. And he has his, he has his, uh, yep, of course, he has a uh, force, uh, force field available. So he can keep Hanfi on these two bases, but I don't think the four gate is gonna do all that much. But Hanfi also, he needs to realize that this is happening, and I don't think he does. He still thinks this is normal aggression and with just speedlings on this narrow choke point. But wow, they're really closing in. Getting rid of one stalker, more zealots are coming in. 
This is not, not the best position to fight, but he's getting these stalkers quite low and actually getting rid of one more stalker. And the other one is so incredibly low that I think he can still deal with this. He's ahead in workers now and... Oh, Chops, a little bit over eager. It's a good force feed. This force feed is actually kind of uh, kind of helping Hanfi. Just uh, get us around on these zealots. Of course, the stalkers are still in the back and more zealots are being added in. But Chops is losing quite a uh, quite a bit more here, especially since he's still on just 19 workers and making no attempt to even uh, transition into a second base. And that's four spines being established for, for Hanfi. Might be a little bit too late though, with this main army closing in now. And Chops, uh, since he added in so many zealots, Dealing quite well in the, with these links, but oh, not on creep and not with these spines finishing. Oh, Shops needs to get out of there, and I think this might be the final blow here. Doesn't have any uh, force fields available anymore. Single sentry is being warped in. But that's just a single force field, now he's all out in the open. And Hanfi, he's getting another round of links and going for the plus one mis uh, melee attack upgrades. Even going for. Oh, nice run by. Oh, this is, this is gonna finish Han uh, Shops off. And Hanfi is gonna be fine here with three spines and more Zerklings coming out. 20 more links coming out, by the way. And let's see what these links can actually do over here. Oh. Shops will lose these, uh, lose these zealots and this is gonna just weaken his offensive and it's even, it's weakened already. Links have actually gotten out. Broken out, gotten rid of a couple more stalkers. And these zealots are quite low already. There's four more links coming out. He's kind of trying to lure Chops back into his main. And also sending out more and more links, which will just force a warp in back here. And with so many spines, so many queens available, they have a lot of energy. They can j just transfuse these spines all day long. Um, I think that Hanfi is in such a great position. Uh, Chops is not gonna make a turnaround happen here. Links are gonna get into his main and a single zealot not gonna do all that much. Second zealot is coming in as well. But <laughs> Hanfi is just doing the ring around the rosy. And that's so many links closing in. We don't have we have a single force field coming out. But Chops, this is your final fight. This is it. And he doesn't even need the spines. Hanfi goes straight on for the 2-0.